passing of former member of parliament for Ningo Pram Pram, E.T. Mensa, has left residents of Ningo Pram Pram grieving as they remember his substantial contributions to football development and education investments during his tenure as the constituency's MP. The Honorable E.T. Mensa, who passed away in South Africa last Sunday after a brief illness, is deeply mourned by the community. Fred Duho visited Ningo Pram Pram and reports. We are in the Ningo Pram Pram constituency and basically because they've lost one of their illustrious son, a son who served Ghana for decades. And basically because we heard of the news that the Honorable E.T. Mensa who served as a member of parliament in this constituency for almost two decades, passed away in South Africa. Now, some of his constituents who also heard the news have been sharing their fond memories with City News. It helped us a lot, a lot. He used to take some people out of us to give them personal scholarship for them to just go and learn and come back. And about military and police and this thing, I know one or two people, he was able to assist them. That's what I can remember about him. How did you hear about his loss and what does it really mean for your constituency? It's a very big mix. And up to now, Pram Pram is in black. He's a great man, not only for Pram Pram, but for the whole country. Because he has done a lot for us. Talk, talk about electricity. Talk about the roads, the asphalt, through him. All this legacy is in his name. Right now, we have Honorable Samnati George. For now, he has done nothing. Honorable Yiti Mesa has done all the things. I, I can't remember one thing Sam Nati George has done for now. All the things we are enjoying is from Honorable Yiti Mesa. During his days, but then I was a footballer and um, he do organize some football activities for us and we enjoy it a lot. He's friendly all the time when you go to his place. He can receive you then. You have a chat. When you saw him, I normally go to the uh, parliament, have a chat with me. In case of ever having any problem, and then, then we have a talk. Be a close ally of our former president, uh, Jerry John Rawlings. Uh, he gained fame. So anywhere he went, he, uh, he was able to gather uh, people. So I think he, he did his best. Let's now go speak to Alfred Okuvandapoy, the MP for Ablikma South, on what he makes of the legacies left behind by E.T. Mensa, who also occupied that office some years ago. I remember as far back as when I was in secondary school and a member of the Ghana Voluntary Workshop Association, or Voluntary Work Camp, Work Camp Association. And when, during the long vacation, E.T. Mensa would mobilize us with the AMA, and I remember, my mind goes back to Carnation, behind the Carnation market. And we will go and work in the Carnation market. And then we will, we will patch the streets of Accra. I remember that like yesterday, come to Mamplobi, uh, Accra Central, doing clean up exercise, patching the roads. He showed leadership. Now, when I had the opportunity in 2009 to be sworn in as mayor of Accra and became mayor of Accra, I remember those days, the way E.T. Mensah led Accra. And the flood came in. But before the flood came in, in 2010, I have researched the plan that has been put in place under the leadership of E.T. Mensa, Nunu Amate Fio, Honorable Ajiri Bankson, all three of them, and had put it all together. And that is what brought about the Conti project. That is why when the flood came and I was with the then president, Professor Evans Atameos at Circle, and he asked me, Oko, what do we have to do? And I said, I have put together a plan and it will cost us $500 million to work on 
the flood problems of Accra, the drains and all that. I looked at it from the time of E.T. Mensa. Honorable Nuna Mate Fiu and Honorable Ajil Bansi. All that they have worked and put together. You know? So we have to give thanks to those who came before us. The work that they have done with Accra. And when I came in, I didn't do because of what uh, I came to do. I followed what they had done in the past. And I said, let me put it together and make it better. You know, so um, I appreciate the leadership that they provided. E.T. Mensa, I remember him up to today. You know, he was a great organizer, as I've said. Residents of Ningo Pram Pram shared fond memories of their lost son, who is E.T. Mensa the former member of parliament for this particular constituency and they made known of the fact that he was someone who loved sports and he brought out that interest in the youth and contributed greatly to the development of this constituency. My name is Fred Duho reporting for City News.